Climate change is not just a term, it has become a global crisis that is impacting our daily lives. The Earth's temperature is rising, primarily due to carbon emissions. Let's explore the countries with the highest carbon emissions in 2022, according to the Global Carbon Atlas. China holds the top position as the highest carbon-emitting country in 2022. China's rapid economic growth has led to a significant increase in energy demand to sustain its development. While China has outlined plans to reduce carbon emissions and promote clean energy, it still heavily relies on fossil fuels. In 2022, China's carbon emissions reached 11,397 metric tons of carbon dioxide, accounting for approximately 32% of the world's total. The United States of America ranks as the second highest emitter. Unlike China, the United States has had a long-standing position as one of the highest carbon-emitting countries. In 2022, America recorded 5,057 metric tons of carbon dioxide, representing 14% of the global total. Although America's carbon emissions are lower than China's, it is crucial to note that the per capita carbon dioxide emission in the United States is significant compared to other countries, with approximately 15 tons per person. India sits at the third position in terms of carbon emissions. India is currently experiencing rapid economic growth and has the world's largest population. Meeting its energy demands requires a substantial amount of fossil fuels. In 2022, India's carbon emissions were 2,830 metric tons of carbon dioxide, accounting for around 8% of the global total. Policy barriers have hindered efforts to reduce carbon emissions in India, including significant subsidies for electricity. According to a report by McKinsey Sustainability, power generation accounted for 34% of India's carbon emission mix in 2019. The electricity subsidy encourages the use of fossil fuels while reducing the incentive to transition to clean energy sources. The Russian Federation ranks as the fourth highest emitter of carbon emissions. In 2022, Russia recorded 1,652 metric tons of carbon dioxide, representing approximately 5% of the world's total. Russia possesses abundant natural resources, including fossil fuels, and heavily relies on exporting these resources for its economy. However, the Russo-Ukrainian war has resulted in Western countries imposing sanctions on Russia. Cooperation projects with Russia have been halted due to the war, further impeding Russia's transition to green energy. We have delivered history today. The first time a decision has been adopted on day one of any COP. The conclusion of COP28 in December 2023 brought several breakthroughs. Delegates reached an agreement on the establishment of a loss and damage fund. This fund aims to provide financial support from wealthier developed countries to developing countries severely impacted by climate change. The decision aims to promote justice and assist developing nations in mitigating the effects of climate change caused by wealthier nations. While this decision appears promising, it is essential to examine the reality. Interestingly, two of the top four carbon-emitting countries, China and India, consider themselves developing nations based on the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change signed in 1992. As such, these countries not only do not have to contribute to the fund, but also have the right to apply for financial support through it. On the other hand, donors have their hidden concerns. The Loss and Damage Fund represents yet another promise, and historically, developed countries have often failed to fulfill their climate finance commitments. For instance, the United States, one of the highest carbon-emitting countries, contributes only a small portion to various climate finance funds, raising doubts about the reliability of such commitments. <laughs>